Hey Naturally Curly World, I'm Christina. I'm Gerilyn. And today we're talking about the science of shedding. What is shedding? Why does it happen? How can we prevent it? We're gonna figure all of that out in just a moment. All hair, all of our hairs go through a three phase cycle. The first is the antigen phase when your hair grows out of your scalp then the catagen phase, it stays there for a little while, and then the telogen phase when it's released. And your hair is in these different phases at different times. So not all of your hair is growing, staying, and falling out at the same time. Different hairs are in different parts of the growth cycle. Shedding occurs during the telogen phase. So if you have a perfectly healthy head of hair, you're probably gonna lose about 80 hairs a day. And it's perfectly normal because that means you're in the telogen phase. But if you feel like you're losing way more than 80 to 100 hairs, first think, have you only washed your hair once in the last, say, four or five days? And then you take a shower and you lose five days worth of 100 hairs and that looks really scary when it clogs your drain, but it's actually still normal. You just haven't released the shed hair. So I think that happens quite a lot with curly hair and it scares people, but it's still normal. It also help, happens a lot with uh, people that are wearing a lot of protective styles. It can be super scary when you take out your braids, your twists, your extensions, and you see all of this hair come out with the extension. Don't necessarily be alarmed. Also, you can go to a stylist who can safely remove those extensions and also help you feel a little bit better about the shedding that has occurred over one to three months. Um, that person can also help you with the end of that growth phase where she can help trim those ends that you don't need anymore. So if you are experiencing more than the usual amount of shedding, then there are a few different things that could be causing that. Stress is one of them. Um, a lot of that is hormone related. Pregnancy is another big one that has effects on when women who are pregnant um, feel like their hair is so much healthier and fuller when they're pregnant, that's because their hair has stopped in that catagen or antigen phase. It's not doing the telogen releasing part of it. So their hair is fuller and thicker than it ever has been before. But then after they have the baby, their hair enters that last phase and they lose a lot of that hair. So we have an article about that from one of our contributors who went through that and how she's dealing with it. If you're curious about how you can prevent hair shedding, there's really not a lot you can do, but you can slow down the process. So our bodies produce a chemical called DHT. Um, it restricts the blood flow to the hair follicle, and that actually causes hair to fall out, causes it to shed a little bit faster. So if you notice that you know, you're know you shedding more than you ever wanted to, get yourself a DHT blocker. You can get a scalp treatment, a shampoo, a conditioner, put it directly on your scalp, You know, follow the instructions on that product, um, but that'll actually help you slow down the shedding process. You'll see less hair fall you'll see less of your hair on the floor. We'll leave an article about DHT and DHT blockers down in the description box. If you are seeing like little hairs all around your bathroom, um, some of that is breakage and some of it is shedding. You can normally tell if you take one of your fallen hairs and look at it up close and see if it's the full hair and it still has that bulb on the end of it from your follicle, that's a shed hair. But if it's a short hair, um, maybe it has a split end or a break somewhere on it, that's breakage. And I've heard a little birdie tell me that there's an exogen phase. I'm not sure if that's a real thing. However, it sounds like it could be something real where the hair is exiting your scalp. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you think about the exogen phase and if that's real. I haven't heard of the exogen phase, but the curly community does like coming up with their own words, so. If you have more questions about shedding, what it is, how it's different from hair loss, definitely talk to us in the comments below. If you think you have a medical problem though, go ahead and see a medical practitioner. We won't be able to answer that in the comments below. Uh, and if you like this video, then make sure you watch our next one. We're gonna talk about why you should shampoo. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.